Starting today, you are going to pay more to cross the bridges. Riverlink is raising its prices. Yeah, the Lincoln, Kennedy and East End bridges will all see a 3.4% rate hike. Drivers with a Riverlink pass now pay $2.61 to cross. That's up nine cents. Without a pass, expect to pay $5.22. Trucks with five axles or more with a Riverlink pass will pay 43 cents more at a new rate of $13 a trip. And then without the transponder, that goes up to $15.61. Riverlink says drivers with transponders and prepaid accounts save about 50% 50 per, uh, per crossing. The new rates will be in effect through June the 30th, 2025. And sticking with transportation and just getting around, people are adjusting to TARC's new changes. The Transit Authority implemented its reduced busing schedule yesterday. Three routes are now discontinued and 19 others are seeing a reduction in service. WHAS 11's Jose Alonzo spoke with riders who say they are readjusting their lives around the new service hours. Tark riders continue to be patient while waiting for their bus and navigating the changes coming to their traditional routes. Valley Station bus is scheduled to arrive at 4 10 p.m. Starting Sunday, Tark is reducing the frequency of multiple rounds across the metro. They said they had to make this decision because they lost about 20% of their funding. That 20% comes from the American Rescue Plan, but that extra money will no longer be available. Air Force veteran Christopher Williams has been a writer since 2016. He says these modifications to the routes will impact how he gets to work and home. To get to my job, I may have to get up earlier and may have to um, wait longer to get home. And just to save money, I'm like, you know, I'm not going to call a lift. I know a tarp's coming an hour and a half later. We're just still on the bus stop and be patient and relax. He's just one of the many riders across Louisville who are now facing changes in their lives to fit the new schedules. Jose Alonso, WHAS 11, on your side. And to check if your route is impacted, we do have a link in this story on our website, whas11.com. It'll show you a full list of routes and how you can find the latest TARC schedule. Because of some of those cuts, TARC drivers were expected to be laid off some amount of them. But a new deal between the company and Jefferson County Public Schools could bring drivers over to help address the school district's transportation shortage. 70 TARC drivers are eligible to transfer to JCPS. The school district says it'll pay the drivers at the TARC rate. If all 70 switch over, JCPS says it could restore bus service to some traditional and magnet schools. Superintendent Dr. Marty Polio said TARC drivers wouldn't be able to begin those routes until the third week of school. All right, take a look with us at your screen here. The Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco and Firearms is offering a $5,000 reward for tips that lead to the arrest of these three burglary suspects. According to the ATF, Jeffersonville police responded to an alarm call at Kentuckiana gun store around six o'clock yesterday morning. Security video seen here shows three men entering the store wearing masks. The ATF says the men stole several firearms and then escaped in a red car that you see there. Anyone with information should call the tip line at 1-888-ATF-TIPS. You can also email ATFTIPS at ATF.gov. Starting today, Kentucky businesses that want to sell, process, or grow medical marijuana can start applying for permits. It's part of an accelerated push to have products available by early 2025. The application for licenses will be open through the end of August. The goal is to have some medical cannabis available in January when products become legal. Doctors and advanced practice registered nurses can also start submitting applications to be able to certify eligible patients. Kentucky's Board of Medical Licensure and the Board of Nursing will oversee the process. An update this morning, Louisville's Fire Union has voted in favor of a new contract with the city. According to Fire Union President Jeff Taylor, voting wrapped up and passed yesterday. You might remember back in May, members voted no, but that vote was brought back to and the contract passed this time. The contract still has to be signed by the union president and the mayor, it then has to go through the entire Metro Council. The Jefferson County, Indiana Sheriff's Office is investigating a deadly rollover crash. It shut down West Deputy Pike Road between North County Road 300 West and North Borcher Ding Road on Sunday. Police say two people were in the car when it flipped. The driver of the vehicle died at the scene while the passenger was flown to Louisville with serious injuries. Police say the road had to be shut down while they investigated the crash and to replace a downed utility pole.